my YouTubes. We're gonna head out for a walk-in box that's not cooling. And uh, I got the big storms coming, so they keep saying. But uh, it's gotten a bun oh, it's gotten a bit windy. But where we're going up to, I think they're evacuating part of the area because they're fearful of mudslides where all the fires were this summer. So I gotta see if I can get up here and fix this place. Um, the governor lifted his outside dining so ban so people can go outside to eat now. I think they lifted it today. But then uh, the rain's coming. But they still can't sit inside and di have dining. That's so weird. Anyways, uh, we'll carry on here. Uh, let's get up here and see what we get into. Burger here is not running. I'm gonna pull this cover off. And I was just up here. The uh, solenoid's calling, and the pressure switch isn't making, so I'm thinking it's low on charge. So we'll get gauged up and take a look here. All right, this thing's pretty flat. Look at that. So I'm just gonna get nitrogen. I don't even think we're gonna need a leak detector. We'll nitrogenize it. We should be able to hear it pissing. Now let me get the nitrogen. Oh, the van. China. All right, I got a bunch of nitrogen in this thing. See, uh, see if it's dropping pretty good here. Should be able to go downstairs and listen for it. move the camera you can make the needle move see uh, I don't hear anything up here but I did see something some oil that looks suspicious at the evaporator and I want to go check that let's go have a look Okay, I didn't find anything downstairs. I had to pull the condensing unit off of the roof here and look what I found. Underneath here is a sight glass. I gotta cut these lines back. Uh, I had to move wow. the, the platform. If it would have been down in there, I would have had to shrunk you down like, honey, I shrunk the kids. You just have to run one all the way down. That was gonna be my plan. Yeah. All right, let's get these braced up. We can get all this rebuilt. Fuck, who left that in there should be slapped. <laughs> How many times does this happen? You got a good rhythm going and then the battery dies. Oh, these are the 3.0s too. They last a long time. All right, battery change. Right when I got it, just getting a good rhythm going, you know? This one here, I checked everything with soap bubbles. And it's a crusty old one. And I wasn't getting the leak I was looking for. Uh, I used up a bunch of soap. And I was like, man, it's gotta be in the line set. Well, you can't get on top of the box. We tried that. So I had to pull that unit, pull the little wooden stand, and then look down the hole. And then lo and behold, there was that sight glass someone had an old quarter inch sight glass in there dude from a hundred years ago and this is the crap you find out there this is a little 65 6500 btu coil oh my goodness let's uh, go pressure test it one more time we should be good now all right so this is what was up in there this was on the outside of the unit where you can see it dryer sight glass backwards you always want your dryer and then your sight glass and then this was underneath down in the hole and it was only quarter inch 
Look at all that oil. That was the leaker. Uh. All right, all right, all right, YouTubes. The, um, that one there was hilarious. So that box, I didn't get a lot of video because the customer was right there next, next over my shoulder. But the thing was low on charge. I press, I first pressurized it to like 120, soap bubbling. I'm not, I'm not seeing anything obvious, but I'm watching the needle on my gauge. It dropped significantly enough for me to go, hey, we got us a good size leak here and I'm not finding it. So then I did the old NorCal special which I don't recommend you guys doing. I bumped it up to 300 PSI. And again, nothing at the condensing unit, nothing at the coil. So I'm going, man, it's got to be something in this line set. A Mr. Rubby or something. But you can't get on top of that box through the attic. And I took a look. So the only thing I could do was remove that condensing unit off the little skid it was sitting on. And it had this big old opening like roof jack thing they put the line set down that uh, you could see in the video and sure enough inside of there it went three eighths to quarter inch to a quarter inch flare to a quarter inch flared sight glass that's all leaky I got it in the back of the truck with me I don't have time today we'll put a fitting to it and see how big the leak was on it I'll do that in another video but that's where the leak was so I cut that out um and then redid the lines like we did in the video. Got my dryer sight glass combination on there. Pressure tested it. And then pulled a vacuum with the little Navac battery vacuum pump. And uh, now things back in action. And uh, that was... Dude, that's the, that is the stuff you find out there when you do these old mom and pop restaurants. Man, let me tell you. Mini split hell. Leaky evaporator. 